Sing praises to the Lord, Psalm 911. Hey guys, it's Miss Jennifer. We're going to end the week with our with our story that we've been reading all week from the Beginner's Bible, and it is the Last Supper. Then Jesus did something else. He picked up a loaf of bread and blessed it. Then he broke it into pieces. He gave the bread to his disciples to eat. Jesus said, this bread is my body. Every time you do this, think of me. In the same way, he took a cup of wine and blessed it. He gave it to the disciples to drink. This is my blood. It is poured out to forgive the sins of many. The time has come for me to go away. Where I am going, you cannot go yet. I am going to heaven to prepare a wonderful new home for you, but I will return to you soon. At first you will be very sad, but do not be frightened. Soon you will understand and you will be filled with joy. I actually received this today in a text message from my cousin and she thought it would be a great thing to read to our friends here on YouTube. Cash, can you please move? Thank you. And this is called A Family in Lockdown, Noah's Ark. 40 days, 40 nights in the ark, Noah's family was confined in a boat. There were no windows, no balconies, no terraces, no internet, no phone, no TV, no YouTube, Facebook, or Netflix. They only heard the rain. They spent their time praying, loving each other, and caring for the animals. God the Father took care of them as Noah was a man of faith and obeyed his word. <laughs> Remember, even though there is out there an ocean of viruses and life seems like a stormy ride, our God is watching over us. Do not be afraid. Be faithful to him and wait patiently. The rain will stop one day. A rainbow will shine and all will be well again. All right, guys. So now we're going to sing a couple songs and then we're going to do our last activity for the week. Our first song is going to be, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. <laughs> now our last song for the week is going to be Behold. Alright, ready friends? Behold, behold, I stand at the door and knock, 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 behold. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, knock, knock. If anyone hears my voice, if anyone hears my voice, I will open, open, open the door and will come in. All right, guys, let's go to do the activity. Grab your chalk. Hi friends, it's Haley, Miss Jennifer's daughter, and I'm going to be leading your guys' activity for the day. Um, so let's get started. I'm, you're going to place your hand on the ground, and with your chalk, you're going to trace your hand. You can have your mommies and daddies help you, because it could be challenging for you guys. Chalk won't go all the way between my fingers, so we're going to try our best. Now we're going to connect it. And there's my little hand. And now I'm going to grab another color. I'm going to grab purple. You and might not be able to fit all of the words in. The first, super small. Well, the first two words you're going to write on the thumb is praise God. You can have your mommies and daddies help you. Or you can just write it on the outside of your hand. Miss Jennifer, should I write mine on the outside of my hand? Sure. By the fingers that we're using, though. Okay. Now I'm just going to blow the excess chalk off. Praise God. That, What's next? The next finger you're going to write, confess your sins. I'm going to blow it off again. Confess your sins. What's the next one? Your middle finger will be thank God. My 
always need to thank God. Your ring finger is pray for others. Pray for others. And your last finger, your pinky finger, is pray for yourself. And on the middle of it, you can write closing. Which usually at the end of a prayer, what do we usually say? Amen. Amen. Miss Jennifer, thank you for letting me lead this activity. It was so much fun. You're welcome. All right, guys. See you next week. Have a great weekend.